map is indeed cobbled. This is Virtus Pro versus Titan, map number two. If Virtus Pro is able to take it, they proceed on to the finals. If not, uh, then they're eliminated. Titan moves on to face the winner of Conquest versus Mouse Sports, which is the next matchup underway. Cobble, you heard the analysts. Uh, Virtus Pro, favor to win for sure. But uh, even though they're so good at so many different maps, Cobble's the one that maybe, maybe Titan has the best chance on. It is their map pick. Pistol round is underway, misled. Yeah, working our way now into this pistol, you have to think Virtus Pro looking good on map number one. A little bit of struggle in the beginning. They ended up bringing it back quite well, though. <clears throat> you have to think going into a map like this, they should be all right on it and uh, be able to put up some big numbers, but already Titan working their way out through a hole. Shox is going to be the only one. He's just hanging out above the drop, and uh, Virtus Pro is going to rotate on that. Now Shox is going to go down to the drop. He's not going to catch anybody rotating through the B bomb site, though, because Pasha had already pushed through. Snacks. So that uh, that's not really going to work the greatest for Shox, but Pasha last one left now, working up the ramp. 1v3, bomb planted, A bomb site. He's in trouble here. Can he make it? Gets the first shot. Now he's going to be 1v2. Shox right there around the corner. <laughs> No. And he pushes right into him, and Shox doesn't go for it. He plays the angle. Now he runs out. Pasha's got to be careful. Getting flanked. Still 1v2. Works it all the way into the site. Somehow, he's still alive, and he's only taken 15 damage throughout this entire merry-go-round that he's ran around this eight bomb site. So Shox close. finally gets it at the end, uh, and Titan will take another pistol. They're three for three on pistols now. Yeah, Sha <laughs> Pasha should have died so many times there. Uh, you saw him standing, and through the x-ray, there's, there's a player just on the other side of the wall as he reloads the pistol, thinking about peeking the corner, just even edging his shoulder around on the reload. You know, you know he had to hear exactly where it was, like, oh, there's a reload or something in it, but that patient's not, not peeking the corner and thinking it might have been a, a fake or a bait of some sort. Fantastic. First pistol round. That's another pistol round in favor of Titan. They've been doing such a good job on, on pistols. Problem is they, they need to carry that momentum all the way forward. Uh, moving on, you see two, actually a pretty heavy stack with one one mid, two A, two B, instead of all that uh, heavy B bias that we typically see with the new meta on Cobble. It was interesting, at the beginning of the part of that round, both Yali and Pasha were back at KFC, just hanging out in the back of it, very, very deep. Neo was going to be pushed up at Matrix. He ends up going down. Taz is going to try and play the angle if anybody comes out of halls uh, and hopes they just run right by him, but it doesn't happen. So that'll make Snacks, Bialy, and Pasha go on the rotate. And another round where Pasha's rotating deep through B, and he's going to go all the way around through uh, T-Spawn in uh, the very longest rotate possible. Uh, you see Smith. Oh, he's going to spam right through the smoke. Takes just a little bit of damage, but he's still alive. Manage, manage in favor of Titan. Uh, decent weapons, decent force buy going on for Virtus Pro as uh, they back off. They're just going to go ahead and save, hang out of the weapons. Really a smart buy at this point. I mean, if they, if they lose the guns, they're going to be forced into pistols only. At least this way, uh, going into round number three, they'll have some sort of a chance. Yeah, I mean, Bialy does have the MAC-10. Pasha is going to rotate all the way back uh, into tower with the scout that he picked up, or the scout that he's got. Uh, Snacks with the uh, body armor and the CZ, or head armor and CZ. Just going to hold on to that. It will be a three-man save, but we do have Titan kind of going on the hunt here. Not too much. They're mostly staying together, so they're able to trade a frag if they need to. And Pasha, look at that. Just trying to see if he can get a shot off. Not going to be able to grab one, but it will be a second round for Titan. They didn't get ecoed there. And Virtus Pro does have some money into this, and you can see Taz actually dropping the MAC-10 to his teammate Neo. Let's see if they can force something out with just some upgraded pistols and that MAC-10 and the Scout. Yeah, see, saving those weapons was, was huge for Virtus Pro because now they're able to face Titan on a relatively even looking by uh, where they have a much better better chance. Uh, they're going to stack four at B as is usual, and Viali's working the edge at drop down. Look how many people can he get the spray down? One, two, three, four. He gets overrun instantly, snacks as well, and that is a solid entry by Titan. Taz also watching the window. He's able to get a kill. Might be too little too late. Oh, works the MAC 10. Able to take down RPK, so Neo is going to be the rotate man now. He's going to try and work his way uh, back through the halls. So we'll be in two on three. As going to be the first one out, has the smoke in his face. Does he commit back to it? And he's going to work back and forth from the drop room, but there's so much smoke down. Neo not going to be able to go through. Tash just pushes right through it, so it's going to be up to Neo to try and speed up with his teammate. If they're going to go for this, Neo needs to not leave Taz out hanging, and uh, Taz does get caught. It's just going to be Neo. One on three, don't think he's going for it. More than likely trying to get an exit. He knows there's a Galil out there that he wouldn't mind grabbing. And at the very least, making these guys rebuy that head armor, spending more money every round is going to be huge. He gets one. Now he's going to try and see if he can get Screams or Smiths, but 
doesn't look like either of them are going to exit really too close to him. Yeah, that's a big kill for Neo too because uh, that was an SMG, so he's got a lot of a lot of cash coming in off the kills. He's forcing tight to do some rebuys, keep the economy as low as possible as we roll into round number four. The first gun round. Your scoreline currently is zero and three this time versus Pro setting up to switch the momentum. Uh, most recently they've uh, they played Cobble in that, that big Azubu show match, best of yeah. five. This is the only map that they lost, uh, losing nine and sixteen to Navi. So we're going into round four. Should be the first full buy round for both teams, or essentially the first full buy round. As you can see, Virtus Pro definitely fully bought into it. Titan, on the other hand, Smith still rocking an MP. We got a Galil out in the hands of Shocks. Two AK or three AKs between RPK, Scream, and Existence. And uh, they're only going to be. Where are they going to be trying to put? No, they're not going to let Smith go out on an island. He's actually sitting back. I thought they were going to try and send Smith hard into the halls with just the MP to try and force the issue. And, not going to go with that, so it's going to be all five working directly up the slope. They'll be able to nice. catch Taz right off the bat, but Snacks is going to be close. Neo's back in the side. Bielli's going to be the fast rotator, and Titan's still trying to storm their way up. And they're gaining some traction. I mean, they work it into a four-on-two now. Yeah, Neo ends up getting uh, pinched off, and Bialy's going to find himself all alone with Pasha pushing up through, uh, through B-Main. It's going to take a long time to get this rotation underway, just two M4s. Uh, hit the old tab button. Yeah, they're, they're completely broke. Pasha's sitting on 50 bucks, and, and Viali has nothing. The smartest choice is exactly what you see Virtus Pro doing at this point. They're going to back off, hang out of the M4s, and uh, try to make something happen going into the next round. This is great for Titan. They've got uh, early economic momentum. They're at 4 and 0. Keep in mind, Titan did lose the previous, uh, the previous map of Train. It's all or nothing right now. Yeah, I mean, Titan has to win this to force it to a third map, which our, our third match, I believe, is Inferno, correct? Yeah, yeah, we got Inferno, yeah, number our, three. Our randomized third will be Inferno. That'll be a knife for size if we go for it. And Pasha actually goes down. Smith will sniff him out with the op in hand. Ends up taking Pasha down, so no save comes from the tower player. That's only going to be Bialy able to save his M4 for the next round. And uh, on their side, economy not the greatest. I don't really expect them to buy around no. this or try and force around it, but upgraded pistols do come out. More than likely, that's all we're going to see is upgraded pistols. And Virtus Pro going to try and stop the hemorrhaging here and not allow Titan to get five in a row. Yeah, I mean, the silver lining is Virtus Pro is heading towards max loss bonus, so you're looking at a completely solid buy going into the next round. But this one, largely a throwaway. They're just going to have to force up around what Bialy's got. Yeah. And uh, he spends all of his money on uh, grenades and utility to uh, get something done. Look at Neo pushing up aggressively. Outside of long, that aggressive play is not going to pay off. It's going to give uh, Neo the... The quick and free kill, look at Taz, cheeky position real close, sees that molly and the flash, and uh, he's called for a rotation from Pasha. Pasha comes into the A site, but it might just be a fake. You see Titan backing off, working the way towards Dragon Lore. Yeah, they are going to force their way backwards. Bialy's going to be rotating all the way up into the A bomb site. Taz, Pasha, Bialy are now going to have to rotate out of the A bomb site, as Snacks will be the only man left. And be luckily, no one's hit the drop from Titan. They haven't tried to force through. Snacks will get one before RPK goes on the trade. Bialy's still going to try and rotate in. There's the drop player coming through. That's going to be a Molly burn onto Pasha, and it will just be Taz left. 1v3, as uh, Titan has full control of this B bomb site, and they have guns. Yeah, the only thing that, they, that they've that they been able to do is take two. Taz is able to pick up an AK-47. Instead of saving it, he's going to go for it. Makes sense, though. I mean, you are going to max loss bonus. You're going to be able to buy a full anyway. May as well, uh, you know, YOLO. Try to get another kill. Yeah. Try and force more rebuys uh, from Titan. Five and zero. That's all right. Virtus Pro, they're popping out two ops defensively, one in the hands of Neo, and then Pasha also working the op roll. He's been such an influential player, uh, uh, doing a decent job with rifles, pulling the off out, and then, as we saw, versus Conquest, pulling out three knife kills in a single uh, in a single best of three. Working our way into round six now. Looks like Titan's going to get aggressive here at B. They know it should be a full buy. Scream's going to be the one that's going to force out pretty quick here. RPK actually backs up. He's going to work back towards the drop. It's still going to be three players of Titan. Very aggressive at B. Scream will go down initially, so the op is paying off. Pasha hits his first shot, and uh, here comes all of the players from Virtus Pro rotating in that direction. Neo might hang out and just watch the window out of drop. Now he's going to have to go back to that A bomb site. They have bomb down now. No reason to. Shox is going to have to pull back. It looks like he wanted to go to A the long way and make some noise, but he's going to find nothing for himself. He will be one versus five, bomb down out on the platform, and uh, easily able for Virtus Pro to control this. Yeah, heavy B stack. At this point, Shock's going to find himself isolated, and there you go. Aggression from Virtus Pro poking out, taking the fight. 
uh, to Titan. That's the first uh, first round on the board for Virtus Pro, and I, I I don't know. That wasn't a very impressive uh, play. It was a bit underwhelming coming from Titan. It seemed like the, there was nobody in, in position to to make the trades. It was one wait, one wait, one wait, and uh, there you go. Need to tighten it up just a little bit for Titan. Uh, they've got enough money to pull up another buy, but a couple more rounds and we'll be looking at an eco. Uh, it looked like they were doing this, basically the same thing they're doing now. This could be a 3-2 split, three through the drop. Two are going to come out through long B, and I mean, they just get mopped up. Diali was ready for the drop player. Snacks was in that argument. Screen. And uh, Pasha, looking up top, he knows that the bomb's there. They know Shox is up there. They know Scream is up there. They just have to get him. Here comes the full rotate from Virtus Pro. Uh, but I mean, essentially that round that they lost, uh, the guns up round, they came out fast initially, trying to work out through B, and then just stopped, and you had players rotating backwards. They didn't know where they wanted to go. They wanted to go fast. It didn't work out. And this time, they try and use full speed with the three players coming through the drop, the two coming out the long way, and it still didn't work. They still got mopped up. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not working very well for Titan. Uh, Silver Line, they were able to take three members of the Virtus Pro down, but it's just not going to keep the economy low. Virtus Pro is sitting on a whole lot of money buying up full Titan. Uh, this is their last buy round before they're going to have the eco. They've got the off in Smith's hand, and uh, time to switch it up. They're going to focus on running a default, uh, one towards B drop, and we have a little bit of emphasis going on at A. RPK's in a position pushing up. Uh, Neil was thinking about pushing closer and, and maybe putting a little bit of pressure on these A players and screaming at RPK, just watching for information. They're hoping that uh, Virtus Pro makes a mistake, puts themselves into a bad position, but uh, VP, very disciplined play, not pushing out, which is uncharacteristic for this team. Yeah, just setting themselves up in good positions here. Taz a little bit more aggressive at the slope. Neo is also playing that angle too. No one really having any presence at, uh, at the upper A-Halls. Taz would be the fast rotator in that direction. Snacks and Bialdi both going to be playing the drop. And it looks like Titan wants to try and work this towards A. They're being very cautious here, they know. Uh, as you just said, Sabo, they, they don't have cash after this round, so they need to make this one count. They can't be running in, not checking angles, and just dropping guns. Yeah, you see heavy concentration for Titan. They, they put all their pieces into the A site, and it's going to be a flash out, four straight out of uh, mid-ramp, and then Smith single-handedly working the, uh, the angle from long. They're going to get sight entry, then they smoke it off good. Look at Neil, though. He's going to hang back really far. Snacks pushing out as well. Wow. Lots of play going on from the rotators. Neil is not showing himself just yet, then finally pokes out with the off, taking Smith down. We're in a 1v1. It's going to be Existence versus Pasha, the star for Virtus Pro versus Existence, who's been uh, lagging on the leaderboard so far. Falls through smoke. He's got the bomb, works his way towards B side. The question is can Pasha figure it out? He has, he's on the way. Yeah, now he's going to swing his way back towards that B bomb site. We will have a one on one. Extense is going to be able to get that bomb planted. He's got to be careful. It's going to be an AK versus an M4. Pasha has dropped it, nice. but Extense will be able to get it. Gets himself a 3K on the round, and Titan will go up 5 to 2 over Vert or excuse me, 6 to 2 over Vertis Pro. And they do save their economy there because that was the round where if they didn't win it, they're going to be on a save. But Virtus Pro was in that same situation. It's and, a big uh, round. They're going to spend all their money into it, though, so they're not going to go for the save. They're going to buy out with three players on full force buys with Neo and Taz, the only ones with actual rifles. Yeah, it's a big, big round for Titan winning that one. Uh, Virtus Pro, you called it. They're going to force buy. You have to force buy because if they can take this round, then they essentially wreck Titan's economy once again, forcing them down to uh, possibly having an eco. Uh, missed off shot coming through right there. Titan working the exact same uh, default as last time. We saw them end up concentrating heavily on the A side. Uh, meanwhile, Shox and Existence are looking for information at the B side. Of course, Shox has been uh, taking over his in-game leadership for, he said, officially one day. He's, he's made calls in the past, but uh, he's the one in charge. And uh, Existence's mind is now free to focus on uh, important things like fragging. Looks like they're focusing on A site. One minute on the clock, they just might commit. Again, Titan working back towards that A bomb site. They had a lot of luck here. Basically the same positioning coming out from Taz and Neo. Neo's actually going to drop back towards the APC a little bit sooner. Taz is going to be playing much more aggressively uh, up in the mid area. As Snacks will go on a full rotate. Same with Bialy. And Pasha's probably going to push through this smoke and try to go on a fast rotate. But Taz gets dropped. Nope. And man, Titan getting everything that they need to make happen. But Snacks is in the back of the bomb site. Bialy on the rotate. And we've only lost Miss. Yeah, the problem is Neo and Taz are the only players with real guns for Virtus Pro, and then they're dropped. Suddenly you're left with uh, a full retake going on with Mac 7s I mean, come on, Pasha left all alone. He's going to get smoked off Mag 7 
needs to take it to uh, to a close quarters fight, and honestly, it's probably not going to happen. Watch this. The screen misses the shot. He just does so much damage. Not able to finish the job with the swag. Seven scream naturally responds with a headshot. This is huge. Titan now leading by a long shot. Seven and two. And uh, there was only a two-round slump. They've, they've taken, uh, taken it back. This is a two-round spree so far for Titan. I mean, we're not far off from what we saw in map number one. Titan gets up to seven rounds first half. Uh, Virtus Pro was only at one round, and then all of a sudden it started changing. Titan gets their, I mean, Virtus Pro gets their, uh, their second round. Titan tries to come back into that, and then it was just all Virtus Pro. They dominated their way through. Let's see if they're able to do it again. And I think it, I believe it started with an eco, or at least like a pretty broken buy too. Nonetheless. But uh, into round 10, Virtus Pro doing what they can. Bialy's going to be down. Same with Snacks and Pasha. Only Neo and Taz left. Now it's just Neo. He's going to be trying to rotate his way through the halls. Smith knows where he's at. Scream's going to go watch the drop. RPK more than likely going to swing this all the way back down towards mid to make sure Neo can't escape easily. And uh, actually, he's just going to hang out and watch him if he tries to come through the connector door. Yeah, kind of what you might expect from from Nico. Uh, you, you'd want them to take uh, just a little bit more kills. Look at how low everybody on Titan is. You got RPK sitting at five, shocks at nine, Smith's even low at 28. So really one tap with this P250 on all but Scream, and it's going to be a free kill for Neo. He's going to push the issue, come around behind, sneaky beaky, he takes the first, takes the second, can he get Scream? Not meant to happen. And Scream finishes the job. That got close. Yeah, I mean, Scream gets the ace out of that round. All five kills go to him. Smith's very low on HP. That's going to be 8-2 to two now for Titan. Yeah. And Virtus Pro has to come back in a big way. They have to come up huge here in this buy round. They need to get these guns working. And uh, it's just going to be M4s across the board. Only Taz with the silent M4, though. Everybody else rocking the A4. And Virtus Pro needs this round. They need to start the comeback here. Yeah. If they can win out, make seven rounds from CT side, that's really going to help out a lot when they go to switch to T. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, Titan had already planted the bomb, and it was pretty much all over, but that's that still, still a huge play. Very important to take the guns out of the, uh, out of the hands of, of Titan players and also make just a couple, of, a couple more, uh, a, a little bit more money with those P250 kills. You're going to see a heavy A execute going on right now. RPK, and then everybody else swooping out of mid. Taz holding the tight angle, not going to be checked. That's going to give Taz a free kill. Peeks the corner and uh, does a severe damage with the spray down, but that's all right. Snack in position to make the trade off, and then the 2K. And one by one, Titan City wow. down. Egg stands. Can he come up? No. Nope. Yeah, he got the two players inside the bomb site, but he was kind of out on an island right behind that wall was Taz. Uh, Ended up getting caught finally on the rotate, so that is going to be a third round for Virtus Pro. And Titan, where they were having a lot of luck before, working through A, picking up Taz and Neo really easy. It doesn't work out that time. Taz puts himself in a little bit different of a position back inside the bomb site or right outside that ledge where he's going to be trying to play for anybody getting up close. Neo a little bit more aggressive. He ended up going down, but Taz, great play, allows Viali and Pasha to rotate over from the B bomb site. And now Titan going to go back for a little bit more speed. This is the kind of the same strat that they did where they got blown up. Shocks came out a little too fast. Scream came out one by one, and they just got tore up. Let's see if Virtus Pro can do that again. Yeah, back to a B execute. You're going to see Shocks. He's able to drop a player from three. Pasha, super close. Playing that spot that uh, JDM's been favoring for CLG so much and is able to pick up a, uh, a 2K round test. <laughs> wow, and then Snacks finishes that that round off with a 2K. Titan's been avoiding the B bomb site pretty heavily, and maybe this is the reason. Uh, they did that exact same thing. They had four players come out through long, and one go down through the drop, and it didn't work out. They got caught by a flashbang. They got caught by a counter smoke. They ended up streaming out one ver one on one out of the platform, and it just got tore up. Uh, they had a lot of luck when they did a 3-2 split, dropped the three down, uh, but still ended up getting caught out trying to make their way out of the drop. And again, they're looking like they're going towards B. This time it looks like a heavy, heavy presence, though, of players near the drop. and. Uh, Maybe just screams and they go out and try and fake it. Let's see what how Titan reacts to this. Or are they going to try and go off this? But again, streaming one player out by himself out into the open over there. They're just getting caught out. Pasha is playing that too well. Same with Bialy. They're trying to get this drop now. Snacks is right there. He gets one before he goes down. But here comes Bialy. Fast man on the rotate. Only one Titan player left alive. But he is going to be 1v3. Yeah, Exodus picks up the M484. He's sitting on $2,200 after two round losses so far. He's going to go ahead and force the issue, and uh, it's not going to pay off. Bialy's able to win the firefight with the spray down, and Virtus Pro starting to close the gap. You know, this was uh, heavily 
uh, tight and sided, winning the pistol round and then going uh, three, four, five rounds in a row. And then it started trading back and forth, back and forth. Virtus Pro finally with full on momentum. Titan, after three losses, able to buy once again. Uh, I talked about it. I mean, if they could win out from here, they can make it an eight, seven, half, have those seven rounds from CT side. Uh, and they've been doing what they need to be doing. I mean, they're up to five now. If they can win this one, how is uh, how terrible is their economy looking? But there's going to be a full round loss bonus. They're pretty bought into it. It doesn't matter. They're going to have to buy out because it'll be final round of the half. So it wouldn't be a super healthy buy, but it would be anything that they could get to try and help them win around. And already, Shocks gets dropped right off the bat. Snacks goes all the way down to 46 HP to get that. But Titan, slow playing here. A little bit more spread out. Only one Titan member over towards the B bomb site. He's going to be hanging out. Trying to see if he can find anything from the drop, but I don't think anything's going to happen for him. Uh, Snacks is rotating back in that direction. He's got to be careful. He might peak the exact angle, and he does. And that is going to be a frag in favor of Titan, so they even it up, make it a four on four. Yeah, that's important. Essen's putting pressure on the B side, keep the rotators off. Y'all is going to go ahead and find him out, and then the AX cute is underway. Smith leading. RPK is going to go back and get the bomb. This is, this is a little dodgy. Now the team's a bit spread out. You see screen at, at uh, fence. Smith's holding the angle with the off. They're going to wait and delay for RPK to show up up mid. Neil all alone spamming through the smoke, and the rotation's already come underway. A couple of kills, and Pasha finds himself all alone, takes one with the off, and Scream standing at the bombsite. Wow, he have the bomb. Pasha. Pasha predicts it. What an off shot. Yeah, snaps that back into the site, ends up taking it down. But I mean, Titan initially right off the bat, they drop a player. They use extends at the drop to get a shot, even it out, make it a four on four. They start to work their way towards that A bomb site. You have to think it might have been a little different if RPK would have had the bomb on his back yeah. already. So instead of just two players that had to kind of slow work their way out into that bomb site, they could have had three, been a little bit more aggressive off the smokes that they had. I mean, because they allowed Pasha and his teammates to drop, or Pasha and Bialy to drop down. Uh, behind the APC and try and work in from CT spawn. So if they would have been a little bit faster in there, you have to think that might have been around that Titan could have got. They could have had this uh, looking like it's going to be more like a 9-6 half instead of 8-7. And just like that, Titan's economy is uh, legitimately wrecked, but it is the last round of the first half. You've got to buy into it. Nothing but Tech 9. Look at Snacks taking the drop player down immediately. Now RPK responds with the trade off, but there's two more guns standing waiting on him. Drop has been secured and just like that screen on find himself alone. Neo, yeah. Yeah, another round. Titan tries to make a 3-2 into that B bomb. It's different though. This time it was three coming out long. Two were going to go down through the drop. And again, uh, between Bialy and Pasha, they were all over that. Snacks gets in the argument also. Uh, and they take enough time. They delay long yeah. enough that Titan's not able to to force their way in. And it allows the rest of the Virtus Pro members, Taz and Neo, to start rotating their way from the A bomb site and take control of the drop room so they can allow uh, Snacks to rotate over, maybe help out from the backside of Fountain, maybe have Pasha stay alive. But I mean, he played KFC so well that they didn't really need that did. long for teammates to rotate in. Ah, uh, wow, eight and seven right there. I mean, if you look at the way the, the rounds broke down, it's almost an exact mirror. Titan opens up the round with uh, three, four, five rounds in a row, and then it's just a little bit of trading back and forth, and then uh, Virtus Pro ends with their own victory streak at the end, and it couldn't get much closer than this. Seven and eight could really go either way based upon the way these two teams are playing. We've got the box scores pulled up, uh, things that stand out. One huge 4K round for RPK, uh, Ms. Lutt, I think you were talking about that earlier, and Pasha. He's, he's representing for Virtus Pro, but he's not putting up these huge, huge numbers yeah. that, that made him stand out so well yesterday. That's to be expected when you're going up against this Titan, who seems to be firing on uh, all cylinders once again. Yeah, so one big thing here is if you take a look at the numbers, shocks, 7 and 12 right now. Uh, by round number 4 on train, he was 8-0. Uh, ended up fin de finishing decently well on, uh, what did he finish at, 26 and 18 on uh, on map number one. So, I mean, uh, that's that's a big problem. You're not having yeah. Shocks go off the way you would expect him to. The numbers that he needs to be putting up to really help yeah, the team. Yeah, Shocks is bottom frag right here. Yeah. That's, he's only, that's huge. Well, that's... He's second to bottom because Smith only has five. Yeah. Barely. Barely bottom Barely. frag. Yeah. So, I mean, You can't just... have that. I mean, Shocks yeah. is one of these... One of these huge players who, who comes up, uh, showing up in all the right places at the right time. Yeah. I mean, he's he's the one who's going to come pushing around, popping, you know, floating in, in all different positions on the map. And, and generally, it works out very well for him. Now, I can't help but wonder if maybe his head is being clouded a little bit by the, the in-game leader syndrome. I mean, we see, we've yeah. seen that with you know, Sean Garris a lot. He's so focused on trying to, to outthink and, and anti-strat these teams back and forth. 
maybe we'll see shocks falling back a little bit, and then they might have to, to think about getting more brains, uh, yeah. more, more brains into the, the, the leadership role. Yeah, I, I mean, but he is an impact fragger. You, you expect him. You really need him. I mean, he, the you things that he him. can open up for Titan, allow them to work different angles, allow them to get that man advantage, force the issue, yeah. is huge. And you can obviously see when that's not happening, uh, they don't they don't get those big explosive plays that you would expect. They don't allow the rest of their teammates to scream or, or Smith to get into good spots, RPK to get into different spots, thanks to Shocks opening it up. And I believe Conquest that's just Conquest. entered the building. <laughs> The last hope of North America is in the house, but anyways, the uh, the round is underway. It's going to be pissed around second half. Virtus Pro versus Titan. Titan's got the lead eight and seven, and uh, straight out of the gate, Virtus Pro wanting an A rush straight up mid. Lots of decoys in mid also. Look how fast the rotation's coming underway, Misled. Yeah, they're going to rotate as fast as they can, but Frags will be going in favor of Virtus Pro. Snacks all the way down to 9 HP, but he does get one. Taz just drops. So we're going to have Shocks and Smiths. They're both out into that A bomb site. Bomb is going to be planted. Bialy's looking for him. Neo's got a great angle to defuse right here. He uses it once, looking to find Shocks. Shocks will be the last man. And again, we were just talking about him. He can be explosive, but he wasn't explosive enough. Virtus Pro will tie it up. That's 8-8 eight to eight now. And that's going to bode well for them. If they get both these anti-Ecos, uh, that's going to be 10 to 8. And Titan will definitely be on the back foot. And that's a lot of rounds in a row in favor of Virtus Pro. What was that? Uh, six in a row right there for them? Yeah, six in that a row. That makes six rounds in a row for Virtus Pro. They've definitely got the momentum. They, 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 they've figured it out. They've cracked the code for Titan. Winning the pistol round, that's also going to be huge. Sets them up for just a couple more round wins. And uh, simple simple strat, man. They, they dropped three decoy grenades to make them think it was going to be uh, an A hit, and then they rushed A. Uh, too many guns on site, and, and even though Titan responded, rotating, pre-rotating straight into the site, they were able to win all those uh, single 1v1 firefights. This time, Virtus.pro playing it just a little bit slower. No real shots being exchanged. Look how heavily they bought, too. They've got three AK-47s as they set up for the B hit. Posh has already pushed out on B flat. No, it's actually the first pistol round that we've seen British Pro in this series against Titan. It's the first one they actually got. And uh, they got it right when they needed to. I mean, that ties yeah. the game up. They were a little bit behind. Uh, one player down for each team. And look at Scream hitting the headshot with the Deagle. Removes Neo trying to force out. Taz takes a ton of damage. Bialy's down to 2 HP. Somehow snacks with the AK. But, I mean, man advantage now for Titan as the bomb has worked all the way into that B bomb site. Bialy stays alive for a little bit longer before finally going down to RPK. So it'll just be Taz left. And wow, Smith Titan. will get him. Titan takes the lead once again. You know, that scream opening it up with those 1D shots. He's known for the headshots. And uh, in, the, in the recent interview that, uh, uh, that HLTV did with him, he was talking about the, the recent update, how they changed all the hitboxes. And Scream seemed to think that it's helped his game. He's actually able to, to hit those headshots. And for that reason, yeah. he's switching back to that tappy style. And you put, a, you put a deagle in his hands. I mean, it may as well be an AK-47. He's yeah. going to hit the headshot and take you out of the game just like that. So now into round 18, Virtus Pro going to be down. Here, they're going to buy into this, though. They don't want to allow Titan to get that momentum back. So just like we I saw shot on, yeah, on map number one, Titan taking a pistol, Virtus Pro getting an eco, exact opposite. Virtus Pro gets a pistol, Titan gets the eco. Now we're going to be one on two. Now we're going to be one on one. Neo's going to be the last man left, going against Smith. Got to go back and get the bomb. But he has so much time left on the clock to work with here. He can go anywhere. He can play quite a bit of mind games against Smith, and they're both thinking the same thing. I think Smith here. The gun battle ensues. Neo gets it, and back to back round switches. Neo with the 3K, and so Virtus Pro gets pistol. Titan gets an eco. Virtus Pro wins a force buy. Is, is Titan getting the force buy off here? Let's see. It looks like they're going to be forcing up. Shocks already has a rifle. Uh, screams with the pistol and head armor. Yeah, they're going to force so. See if we can get back and forth, back and forth, continually going. That I mean, that seems to be the trend at this moment. The double uh, AK is going out. I mean, nobody really seems to have a, a gun advantage. And Virtus Pro, they're going to start putting their players up towards uh, B site. Neo standing there in his standard lurk position, just outside of A. You've got a standard four snack for Titan at B. Extens is going to push up close, playing the edge of the smoke. Takes a couple of shots with the five seven. Not going to find anybody through smoke. They're hanging back. Viali, Pasha, Taz, making noise. You see Neo on the rotate back into B site, which means with a minute and 10 seconds on the clock, Virtus Pro is going to commit. 
Yeah, Viali looks like he's going to force his way out. He's out immediately, gets one, traded out very fast. Here comes the players down through the drop. RBK is right there below. He'll find one before Neo finally gets it. We're going to be three on three. Shock Scream, Smith's alive versus Neo, Snacks, and Pasha. Pasha's out. He's out at the headshot, and they're actually going to count. They're going to boost Neo back up. He does have the bomb on his back. Let's see if he tries to wrap towards A. No, he's going to go the long way around, out to where Pasha is. Snacks is going to try and work out out of the drop room, but Smith will be real close. Same with Scream. Shox is making sure no one can escape through the window and uh, back out. Snacks is going to go out. Neo's right there. He evens it up. Can Neo get himself another clutch on the board? He's going to be looking right for Shox. Doesn't get him, and that will be back to back to back round. This switches. is crazy. This Pistol. is. Eco, force, force, force. Exactly. This is crazy. The economy is in shambles for both teams. I mean, nobody can get any sort of momentum at this point. Let's see how's the how's the body turn out for Titan. This time they, they they're able to get full on rifles, M4s, AK 47s Virtus Pro. They're finally going to concede because they're uh, they're out of cash. They they need to save, put something decent together. And uh, I think that's Taz just understand the numbers, understanding exactly what's going on along with Cuban. Uh, helping the team out in that coaching role. They understand we're, we're falling behind economically with the back and forth, and if we keep going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, we are likely to go ahead and get wrecked. Oh, man. RBK does open that up. It's going to be Virtus Pro trying to work their way into the same bomb site. They've got all the Titan members stuck wow. trying to make it out of the connector. Trades are going out. We're even it up, making it a two-on-two -two now. We're going to have Neo with an AK. Bialy with just a P250 here. Smith does make his way all the way to the prop side, but it doesn't matter. Neo was ready for it. So now it's all of the x trying to get out. He's low at HP, 25, forces it into a one-on-one, -on -one, but Bialy will get it. So back and, and another forth. Eco. We are switching back and forth nonstop. Birdis Pro <laughs> gets the Eco. And Look at Bialy. He's laughing about that. It's, it's out of control. It's, it's going to hurt Titan's economy worse because more expensive oh, yeah. CT, but I mean, if you can continue to force, I mean, they're pretty low now. I don't, I don't really expect much more yeah. than just upgraded pistols to be coming out, but maybe, you never know. This could be finally one of these guys getting two rounds in a row, and uh, more than likely it will be Virtus Pro. Yeah, v VP's T side is just insane at this point. They, they've got Neo uh, picking up and off. They've got all the utility they need for an XQ. Titan's going to stack uh, B site and Virtus Pro with uh, their default. They put a lot of pressure on drop down. They just might try to do some sort of a split. Shox has already rotated off A though, comes around the corner and gets taken out. If they know that Shock is playing on A site, then they're uh, going to go, go ahead and push in. Pasha and Neo have already taken A. They make the call. Guys, A is clear. Come on around the corner. That's Taz working the bomb over. And uh, Smith and Existence realize now they're stuck. They're at the wrong site and there's nothing they can do about it. Yeah, Pasha's going to be down in mid, watching the flank. Smith's going to try and work his way through the drop, out window. And she's going to leave Existence left alive all the way at the back of KFC. No, I don't think he really wants to get too aggressive here. Uh, no really reason not to, I guess. I, I mean, you only have a P2K. Uh, you have no body armor. You have no utility. You have nothing. Maybe hope that they're going to try and hunt you and you can steal away a rifle. But, I mean, you're at the back of KFC. As soon as Bialy yeah. or Snacks finds out where you are, even if you get one frag, like you're not going to be able to get away from the second guy with a rifle. Uh, Bialy does pick him up. Virtus Pro is going to be up 11 to 10 now over Titan. Titan finally getting a little bit of economy here to make a buy out of it. And uh, already Scream goes straight for the Deagle because it's not going to be super healthy and they're not going to be able to get Ops out onto the board. Oh, well, no, they're going to FAMAS anyway. So FAMAS has come out in between RPK, Shocks, Extends with, uh, and Smiths with M4s and then the Deagle for Scream. No head armor, but they do have some utility to try and force through this round. Yeah. You see, uh, you see aggression come from Titan. I mean, they've been able to eco round after round. The curse has been broken by Virtus Pro. And uh, look at this, Bialy's just going to shut Shucks down instantaneously. He's out of the picture, and the A hit is underway. The only person left standing is now going to be Scream, trying to rotate in and extend. So look at Smith, though. He, he's come all the way through the backside. Pasha is moving into position to respond. Bomb does get planted. And is Pasha able to succeed? Yeah, Pasha is able to find that kill down in mid. Pushes all the way outside. Uh, towards spawn, trying to find out if, uh, if there's any players back there trying to save. Existence uh, takes the hunter killer of snacks, trying to take any kind of guns away, and it's really up to Existence at this point to back off. Hang on to the AK 47. It's going to go 12 and 10 in favor of Virtus Pro before, well, yeah, the economy for Titans is very, very low. You got Smith sitting yeah, on $50. They, they, they can't do this anything round. now. Yeah, they forced into this round, and look at the hunt coming out here. Bialy's going to come in one at one. And uh, he ends up going down. They have to look for Scream, though. Don't let Scream get any more frags. He's trying what? to find one, and they do. Only Pasha left. And man, Virtus Pro that hurts. wins the round. 
but that's going to be full rebuys coming out well, at this point, though. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, you look at the Ollie, economy. $10,000. Yeah, they I mean. were, they're good economy-wise, but, I mean, man, you just gave two rifles uh, to Titan members that were just going to try and save some light stuff there, and you, you let it happen. So force buy, not an absolute wash for Titan. That is good force buy. Yeah, I mean, they come out. They completely eliminate all of Verse Pro. That's going to help knock that economy down yeah. a little bit. Uh, they come out with two rifles in the end of it. So, I, I mean, a little over-aggressive hunting there from Virtus Pro gets all their players punished. Yeah, I mean, that's the risk. They're just trying to, see, to, to keep that one gun out of Titan's hands. And uh, they end up uh, making this round something that Titan can really pull out. You got the off in Shox's wow. hand. What is this, Shox? With the 2K collateral? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Shock's doing Shock's things at this point. You got three stacked in B, two at A, and uh, Virtus Pro. Now they have to reset and figure out exactly what, what to do. Bialy's hanging on to the bomb at long. Pasha Snacks going to work their way towards B. Make some noise. It's going to be a B fake. Let's see what we're going to have coming out here from uh, Snacks and Pasha. Looks like Snacks is probably going to be working his way towards the drop. Bialy is going to be hanging out very deep into the A halls, not out. And it should pull. Who's going to be the rotator out of the A bomb set if this fake is sold correctly? If Snacks is able to drop down, get himself a frag on one of these members of uh, Titan, that'll help out a lot. Maybe even Pasha, but he's got to play a very tough angle here. He does have distance looking right at him. Snacks doesn't find anything. Pasha does get one. He's going to try and back off a little bit. Bialy doesn't try and execute yet. Now he's starting to push up. Shocks will be the rotator. Scream is going to be the last man. Bialy's going to come out a little wide. Scream's going to be looking for him behind the back of the APC. Scream oh, will pick no. up the shot. Bomb down. Pasha, last man standing. One versus four with only 10 seconds left. And he gets picked up by Shocks. Big round for Shocks right there. Let's see. This turned into a 3K round in his favor. And Titan, I'll tell you what, for this pro. They let those weapons fall into Titan's hands. They'd say it was a round that they should have been ecoing, and uh, the rifles allow Titan to go ahead and buy a pull and then take yet another round. This is such a tight back and forth half. It was one, what, two rounds where they trade uh, uh, two individual uh, rounds, and then we have three rounds favoring Virtus Pro before Titan take the economic advantage once again. Uh, Virtus Pro, four spying around. Tech Nines, two AK 47s, clustered at B. And yeah, the utility is being being used at this point. They're going to commit to B. Neo's already out on on B platform, pushing through the smoke. So scary. Man, look at the Somehow smoke wall. Though. Yeah, they have they have an absolute smoke wall. As long as Extends doesn't push up too fast, and look he does, he only gets one out of it. So not too much damage done there. And man, look at the force by Neo trying to get out there. Taz will get the bomb planted. It's going to be a two on three. Taz in the 12 HP. Bialy's going to push up. Taz pushing right around the corner. Oh, can't oh. Taz get any more? Only grabs one. So Bialy at the back of KFC. Going to be playing deep. He's got a RPK with only 13 HP. This is very winnable for Bialy. He just has to hit some very nice shots. Do not let RPK come from the side, but Smith will go on the wrap. They do get a bomb plan out of it, so even though it was a force, they're going to get a little cash. Yeah. But Titan will tie this thing up. We're going 12 to 12 this is here. crazy. And Titan has to win this map to force map number three. Otherwise, that's going to be it. Virtus Pro is going to go on. Yeah, and, and the winner of this matchup is going to go on to the finals to play the winner of Mouse Sports versus Conquest, which is going to be an amazing matchup, yes. too. I mean, Mouse Sports, I think they're obviously the favors to, uh, favorite to win, but Conquest has really, really showed up here at this tournament, making oh, it yeah. into the, uh, the semifinals against, uh, against all odds. The yeah. fan base cheering them on. Oh, yeah. Big, big upset potential in that matchup. But we're still in round 25. Virtus Pro allowed Titan to come back yep. and tie this game up. So Titan battling into this. And more than likely, Titan, if they can just win against uh, these pistols here, get this anti-eco off and, and do it successfully, uh, they're going to take the round uh, round score 13 to 12 and be up by one. Well, Virtus Pro committing to uh, four players into the B site when they're lurking outside of A, looking for any sort of picks. But those picks are going to come in from Smith with the Kobe taking him down, then a 2K from RPK at window. Taz is going to go ahead and push around the corner, and that's Bomb in control of Titan. Neo left all alone at the A site. Nothing you can do at that point. Stream, headshot to OP. Yeah, RPK playing very well. That's Titan taking that one round advantage now. But we should have Virtus Pro back onto a buy. So let's see what Titan can put up here. Uh, their economy has been kind of held in check. Hasn't been the greatest. I mean, that's three rounds in a row for Still them. back and forth, and some right? of their Yeah, some of their players are decently low at the moment. I mean, 2,200 on the back of Scream, uh, 3,400 for Smith. Exist, existence, wow, is uh, 3,900 right now. Exist. Oh, uh, man, I keep just destroying his name. 
But uh, yeah, it's going to be a five man pushing. Virtus Pro working their way towards upper B, and Pasha actually takes down Smith. And Smith's got a little aggressive. Tried to jump up a little bit of a broken nice. wall there. Look at this. But good trade out, and here comes the full rotates. Yeah, Existence just spraying through the smoke. He's completely blind. Snacks jumps around the corner. Oh, that was perfect positioning for Existence, but uh, the flashbang takes him right out of the picture. RPK stuck in smoke. Works around the edge. Nobody sees him. Nobody expects him to be there. That's going to be a 2K. The Snacks is, is spotted. Looking. Snacks is right there around the corner looking for him. Pasha's going to wrap his way around. If Snacks ends up dying, Pasha, no, Pasha gets eyes on him. Pasha will hit this shot. We tie it up 13 Again. to 13. We're getting close. This is this is nuts. I, I love this half right yeah. here. It's been back and forth, back and forth, and everybody's economy has been kept so low at, at this point. Force buying against one another and, and winning these ecos, winning these force buys. Look at your uh, your poll odds right here. 53% of the people on Twitter are actually favoring Titan at this point, and 47% in favor of Virtus Pro. A lot of Titan fanboys out there. Yeah. Uh, hoping remember, for the underdogs to yeah, win. If you guys want to tweet your vote out, do it right now. Use the hashtag MLGCVO Season 8. And uh, it's going to be Virtus Pro or Titan. Vote for who you think is going to win this one. I mean, we're we're in round 27. We're tied up 13-13. It's basically sudden death for Titan. They have to win this map to force map number three. Virtus Pro gets this. They go on to the grand finals again for the second season. I mean, they're your returning champions. Uh, you kind of expect it. Pasha opens it up once again. Op in hand. And uh, once Pasha gets this thing going with the op, it's pretty brutal. Drop happens. And man, Virtus Pro working it. And they're going to actually split this back towards A. They're going to catch the rotators out. Shox knows he's been caught. Smith is going to have to push up from behind. And that is going to be Virtus Pro Flawless. grabbing a 14th round. Looking very good. And that goes back to what we were talking about earlier. Clean round wins. Yeah. Helps your economy. So if you do drop one, you have more than enough money to make a full buy afterwards. And that was very, very clean coming from Virtus Pro. It's getting extremely close. 14 13, just two rounds away from victory for Virtus Pro. Titan not that far behind. They just need uh, three more. Virtus Pro, they've got two rounds in a row. So Titan's got uh, it's just it's not, not enough money to do, to do anything. So they save. They're on an eco, which means we're likely to, we're likely to look at a score line of 15 and 13. And then Titan's going to be buying up, trying to force us into an overtime. That's really their only hope, unless they can work a miracle right here. They've already done it multiple times this game. Yeah, Virtus Pro going with speed here. Out B. They've already picked up an initial frag. Get themselves a second one. They have control. Oh, scream. scream with the headshot, uh -huh. though. Deagle will take down Neo, but they have the gun advantage. They get the bomb planted. Snacks will grab another frag. And it's just going to be Shocks and RPK. Last two left. They have Deagles in their hands, or excuse me, a Deagle and a 5.7 uh, between the two of them. And uh, they would like to try and grab themselves a rifle. I mean, they had to save for this, so now they're having to play for the tie and get an overtime victory because this is definitely going to go in favor of Virtus Pro. Time ticking down. Only shocks is left. He does get Taz. Grabs the AK. Now he has to try and back up. He needs to survive with this AK. Doesn't want to have to buy it here. Doesn't matter. Bialy goes on the push. That is going to be Virtus Pro pushing this game to match point against Titan. And if you're Titan, you have to be sweating right now. Yeah, it's do or die time for Titan. And uh, the economy is not quite what they might want. Everybody's sitting on around $4,000. So uh, we do have a timeout being called. Definitely going to be a tactical timeout yeah. by Titan. I mean, if they lose this round, it's all over. Titan goes home. Yeah. Virtus Pro moves on into the finals, which will be a best of five. Uh, if Titan's able to win this round, it's, it's not over yet. They'll still have to force another round on top of that and then win the overtime. It's quite the uphill struggle. Titan are the underdogs. This has been a tournament of upsets. Question is, can they do it? So at this point, Vortis Pro has this round and one more to try and get the win. Yeah. Uh, they, they got two rounds to try and grab that 16th round, if, if it even needs that. And sure. uh, last map, when Titan had a tactical pause, we remember what happened. It was actually a force by eco that they were trying to kind of come up with there. Well, it was just a force by, excuse me. Right. Uh, they forced, after the timeout, they ended up winning off of that timeout. So. If that holds true, I mean, they're one for one on them. So maybe they can yeah. do it again. But this time, it's not going to be just a straight force buy. I mean, they're not going to have an op out onto the board. But, I mean, it's going to be M4s with utility. Yeah. So it's a lot better well, what's of a dangerous, buy this time. What's dangerous, okay, let's assume they, they, they buy something really solid over here. I mean, yeah. they, they have to. They win the round. It's important to keep a lot of your players alive. Keep your players on the board so that your money yeah. is high enough to field a decent buy in the next round. Otherwise, you're going to be economically wrecked, and you're, yeah. you're facing them. You know, 15, 14 with, uh, you know, weaker weapons, not a whole lot of utility. You yeah. absolutely need to have that, especially on B site. You need to show up, smoke off your stuff so you can set up shop, get entrenched in all those positions. Titan, having deep discussions. What are we going to do? What sort of positions are we going to do? I'm curious if they're going to pull something 
unusual out. Maybe they, 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 they pull out some of these counter boost tactics, uh, you know, unusual stackings of sites. The momentum is certainly in Virtus Pro's favor. All they have to do is play a default and uh, make a decision once uh, Titan makes a mistake. Yeah, it, it, it's going to be interesting because even if Titan does win this one, if it's not a super clean round, they're spending so much money on rebuys that they're not going to have they're not going to have much more money than they started this round with. Uh, it's going to be rough for them to try and get into a 15th round. Whereas even if Virtus Pro drop this, they have more than enough money to yeah. make a nice, healthy, big oh, they're, fat they're buy rich. out of it. And so even if you get that 14th round this Titan, getting the 30th round, the final round of regulation here on this map is going to be very tough, depending on how, how you win this, how cleanly it gets won. Nothing unusual going on for Titan. They just have shots pushed up very far up on long, hoping that uh, Hoping that Virtus Pro pushed the issue, but it's just going to be Neos in his standard position lurking around the corner. Pasha There's an opening again. pick from Pasha. Smiths is down. He's got one pick on B side, and it looks like... Here comes like the drop. Titan. Yeah, they're all going to go towards drop, dropping down. Can RPK hold him off? Not meant to be. He's taken down as well. It's going to be a huge man advantage. Five versus three. If Virtus Pro win the round, this is it. Yeah, this is rough. So now we got Shocks and Scream. Last hope here for Titan. They have to come up absolutely huge. Otherwise, Virtus Pro is going to win this series 2-0. Go on to the grand finals once again. Shox is going to be trying to push his way through halls. Scream's going to be the slow man trying to work from A. Got to be careful, Shox. Right above him is Neo. Neo hears him. They're going to drop down. Gun battle ensues. Shox will get Neo, but Pasha's there with the op. So it's all up to Scream. The last man standing. He's going to be one versus four to keep his team alive in this and not drop out in the semis. Scream's going to go peek towards that door. They know exactly where he is. Biali's going to come through the window. Nope. Biali will be right there, but Taz actually steals the frag. Virtus Pro is going to be your first team making it to the grand finals in a 2-0 fashion over Titan. That's positively nuts right there. It couldn't be closer, particularly in the second half, where it was trading back and forth, back and forth throughout uh, basically the entire game. It was, yeah. it was a story of egos and four spies winning the game, things that generally on paper should not happen. Titan pulling it off, Virtus Pro pulling it off. It, it, it got a little bit scary there for a while. Yeah. With a couple of rounds strung together, and uh, then Virtus, Virtus Pro, round 11, there it is. They yep. won run, and then they turned the plow on. A little yep. late, but it's all they needed. I mean, it's essentially it happened that way on on both halves of this map. I yeah, mean, yeah. Uh, round 11 in uh, in the first half. That's when they turned it on. They got a uh, five in a row out of that one. Ended up being six in total before they started doing this back and forth thing in right. second half. And then round 11 in the second half again, uh, round 22 anyways in total. Uh, ended up going back four in a row for them, and they, they just held it down. They played very well. I mean, Scream I, uh, still played great. RPK still played amazing. Uh, again, RPK Shox, was sick. Yeah, he Shox was. ended up stepping up quite a bit. I mean, he ended up at 17 frags, but still, uh, just the way that Pasha was playing with the op in his hand, how Snacks yeah. was playing, Bialy, that B-bomb site was, was crazy on lockdown. Neo on the yeah, rotates. Yeah, you can't do anything. Yeah, Taz over there at A playing it. the slope and playing the halls. Ugh. I, that, that's a tough victory to come away from when I, I they're have playing to say, that good. RPK has has really made quite a name for himself. Yeah. He's, I mean, you look at this roster here. It is the very game's roster, except they don't have NBK. They have RPK, who's actually pulled out of retirement to come back into playing this game uh, at, at a very high level. Yeah. Initially, he wasn't doing so hot. His story very much mirrors that of Freakazoid, who stepped away for a while yeah. and came back and struggled a bit. And here you have RPK just carrying so, so heavily. Uh, with 26 kills. Yeah. Anyways, I think that's enough from us misled. It's oh, yeah. been fun. Let's see what the analysts have to say. Over to you, Scoots. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Uh, again, it didn't start well for Virtus Pro. Nope. They went down 8-7 to seven on that half. And again, on the side that they should have more rounds on, yeah. right? They started CT. So again, we were kind of sitting there going, well, maybe yeah. a map 3, maybe not. But again, as these guys said, a lot of back and forth rounds, back and forth rounds, but then Finally, Virtus Pro just started to lock I it down. I was worried that uh, we were going to be stuck in uh, analyst hell again for yeah. a moment there because we did highlight that Titan's T sites uh, hadn't been great on Cobble. Actually, that 
uh, that map there that they played, they had a much improved T yeah. side. So yeah. if they want to go home and take some positives away from it, then that's great. That's what you want to be doing on T side. Unfortunately for them, they couldn't stop Virtus Pro on the CT side. Very few teams can. So uh, Titan, I, I, I feel this. We, we got the right result. It, it's justified. But um, and, and I and I I don't think Titan were really ever truly at the races here. Bit of a strange timeout at the end as well. They kind of left it a little bit late when they were at match point. But um, yeah, I just I just feel that uh, Virtus Pro proved their superiority on these two maps, and you can see from the scoreline, uh, kind of Smiths didn't uh, perform as well as he had done in previous Cobble iterations. Uh, it, but you know there, there, were, there were signs of life. Scream. Did well, RPK did well. I mean, Shocks, despite uh, you know not getting as many kills as some of those guys, I thought he had some pretty key moments, some nice orping. But just everyone seemed to be on point uh, for Virtus Pro. So uh, yeah, I mean, right result in the end. So some similarities to Map One, which is Titan got a really nice start again. Mm. Things are going great. You think, oh, maybe they've got a chance if they can keep this going. BP get enough rounds overall that. Okay, it's going to be on them on the T side, but we know how fantastic they're on the T side. And Bialy came to play today. His entry fragging was on. Yep. They really got it going in this game. And when you when you can win that many rounds on T side in the second half of a match where you're under pressure, you know you're a phenomenal T side team. And we know they're one of the best in the world. So, they, okay, it wasn't that great a series in terms of the back and forth. And could Titan have won the series? Probably not. When you see that they even got things going their way early on, they had good performances from players who'd underperformed yeah. in existence turned up on that map. But it's a good, nice little preview for the final, I think, because we know that whoever VP plays there, VP's really starting to get good now. They're starting to yeah. get where they're getting towards that nice form where they're going to be very tough to be in a best of five finals. So they're the final boss here. They're the reigning champions from last season. And I feel like whoever they play from this next semi-final knows they're up against it. But like, not in, not like a blow away performance, obviously, but a workman performance from VP where they did yeah. everything they needed to on the sides they needed to. And you haven't seen a weakness still from that, I don't think. The only worry, I think, for Virtus Pro is that they are getting off to these slow starts. Maybe a more momentum-based team, maybe a team that does have that kind of ability to really string rounds together, marshal their economy well, you know, get some blowout rounds where they're not losing guns. They play a team like that, that could be a worry for them. But ultimately, you know, do, do Conquest or Mouse Sports have that in the locker? I'm not too sure. I think, you know, there'd be some real worries if you were going to come up against perhaps another slightly further up the food chain kind of team. But right now, Virtus Pro playing well within themselves, and they look really comfortable. Best team we've seen here, uh, you know, intimately, I think, just in terms of, they haven't even had to get out of you know, first gear yet. Only drop one map. Yeah. And that one map is their best map anyway. So they're not worried, they're coming yeah. in. They really are like, they're primed to win this tournament. It's their tournament to lose. But can one of these teams give them a challenge? That's what I want to see. Yeah, and obviously Titan does go home third and fourth place. Yeah. Uh, much uh, better showing than I thought they were going to get. You certainly want to The way it ended is very different from how it began. I mean, it, absolutely. Richard was absolutely right to criticize him that way. You're looking at the team and you're going, I almost don't want to watch this team play. Nothing works in the team. What's the best you could hope for? Mm -hmm. Now, they never got to a position at the end where they were a really good team and you can go, right, I'll definitely build on this. But it's like within just the storyline of this one tournament, you saw how step by step pieces yep. start to form the place. They start to figure out not necessarily something that will always work, but something that could at least work enough for now. Mm. And they could get through matches and make matches close. And hey, they managed to give VP some of a run for it, especially yeah. on Cobble. Just in the end, I mean, they were never going to win this tournament. You have to be real about that. Yeah. yeah. And we often, like, most players when they lose, we're like, oh, we didn't have a good game. They had a great game. And like, shocks from this, his tweet that night to even his interview today, yeah. we played bad. Like, you don't hear them be they that were honest in the with themselves. Rooms, man. Yeah. I mean, they, so. they, they lacked ideas, they lacked cohesion, they lacked firepower. They managed to basically patch themselves up. This was like releasing a nursed bird back into the wild, and they were taking Why? its first yep. tentative flaps of its formerly broken wing. Yep. Yep. Is this going to be the Titan we see moving forward? Probably not. They'll, have, they'll probably try and make more tweaks, more changes. Sure. Remains to be seen if it's going to be for the better or not. Okay, and on the other side of the coin, we do have the reigning champs, and we do have Taz, and he's standing by with Pat for a post-game interview. Take it away, Pat. Thank you so much, Scoots. Indeed, I'm here with Taz, the uh, in-game leader of the uh, team, moving on to the uh, the grand finals of the playoffs tonight to face the uh, the winner of the next game, which is Conquest versus Mouse Sports. Incredible gameplay. You guys started out on train, and initially, it looked a little, a little bit scary for your team on train. What was going on during the, uh, the first half? Uh, we didn't hit our shots. Like, we actually played perfectly. 
against them. Like we knew how they like to play, but we couldn't actually execute even if the tactic was good. So we just came back to standard and we just started to wait for them for the mistakes and uh, it, it paid out. We had the ops and the ops did a great job. Uh, it seemed like Titan was playing a lot, a lot more aggressively, pushing out of uh, of Ivy. Something that looks a lot uh, like it's a play out of your playbook. Uh, how did you guys counter that? I saw Pasha like coming up big, uh, scoring two Ks right there. I think it's uh, about the guys on the alley, about Bialy and Pasha. They they been playing there for so long, so they know how to actually counter certain plays from other teams. So. I'm never scared about the alley, whatever the opponent is trying to do. Maybe if they would put like four guys, it would be a bit harder, but then we have uh, other sides of the map to play with. All right, and then uh, of course you switch sides. CT side was was absolutely solid. I mean, it looked like it was airtight. You only dropped a couple of rounds. Uh, was there anything special going on? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, we just played a good CT side. Uh, but I think we lost the pistol again, so we are not really helping ourselves. So we need to work on our pistols, especially on the sides which are a lot stronger than, uh, you know, like on cobblestone, it doesn't really matter uh, if you win a pistol as CT or T. But on train, if you win pistol as CT, you really have a huge advantage. Yeah, yeah. It seemed like pistol rounds were a real problem. I think you guys only won like a one pistol round through the whole series. Um, going into cobble right there. Uh, very back and forth. I mean, the first the first half looked like pretty standard Counter Strike, and then you switched over to the second half, and it was just a story of of eco rounds and force buys going back and forth. Uh, both teams' economy was in shambles. What was going through your mind? Uh, we forgot tactics. Like I was calling strats, and we just didn't remember correctly what to do, how to draw smokes and shit. It's always famishing. Fuck. Uh, so actually, uh, we forgot the smokes, and that's why we lost a couple rounds. So it was really, really annoying. Yeah. Oh, I bet. So was it was that more of a communication issue or just uh, you know, basic mistakes? Basically, we just forgot the nades, man. We just forgot them. Wow, that's frustrating. Either way, you uh, you, you took the victory. You're moving on to uh, the to the championship grand finals, exactly where you were last time you were here at the MLG Arena. You got to face off against the winner of uh, Conquest versus Mouse Sports. Looking at that 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 matchup, they're two. Uh, Two solid teams, two, two more underdogs really coming into this position. Uh, who do you think you're going to have to face? Well, I don't think that Mouseports is the underdog. I feel like their lineup is really strong and they are starting to prove it to everyone. And I expect them to beat Conquest, but on the other hand, I think Conquest will feel a lot better against uh, Mouseports than any other team because they might not respect Mouseports. And it's a lot better for USA teams when they don't really respect and know uh, other teams. So they, they can they can have a shot on winning. Awesome. Well, congratulations, guys. We're going to go to a uh, quick break. This is Taz Virtus Pro onto the championship. Stay tuned. We're going to have uh, Conquest versus Mouse Sports in just a few.